What's up, y'all? So today is the start of a new set of videos, um, a series I want to start uh, that I've really been interested into in interested in, which is about diving into my process, a little bit of how to how I approach street photography, uh, documentary photography, and um, shooting film. A little bit of shooting digital in there, you know, because. Call me call me a digital guy, cause I'm rocking. Oh my god, I'm rocking this new baby right here, like a Q, Woo! like a Q. Ah, uh, so cute. Ah, uh, get on my level, yeah. M6 gets the clicks, yeah. GR3 mm, rhymes with me, yeah. Let me stop. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. This corner, man. Yesterday. All right, so today's video is about street photography, working corners, and just slowing down. This is a little bit of a how-to, so uh, I really hope you enjoy this process, this journey, and you take something away from it, um, some value away from it to just build up or boost or just engage yourself and your process and your confidence when you're out shooting on the streets. A lot will change when the streets get busier. Right now, obviously, in this specific time in history, while we're in a pandemic, things are a lot slower right now. And with that being the case, when you're out shooting, you need to move a lot to try and just find where the people are, just explore something new because the area <laughs> you might be wanting to kind of live in might be a little slow. And while all that is good and it's encouraged, um, I really recommend right now taking the time to slow down. And I'm gonna say this word a lot, during this video, slow down um, and just like explore and really learn and discover one area opposed to constantly move between so much because even though things seem slower, that, that doesn't mean that you can't still get good photos. Um, all that means is that it gives you more time to kind of just hone in on your craft, really just dive deep and understand the space you're in, the corner you wanna work, and really just find different um, compositions that you can create in that one space. So the first thing we need to talk about is how to find the right street corner. Slow down. Take the time when you first step out, not to just immediately grab your camera, and begin to shoot, but put your camera away. Take some time to just literally walk around and explore. Just observe people around you. It gives you time to look around and discover art that may be on walls or different type of graffiti or just random building signage and really just kind of take all of that and start to culminate in your mind like, ooh, I can make a cool composition here using this sign, using this weird contraption <laughs> or something standing in front of you, um, opposed to always just zooming past it. You miss that stuff. You don't think about it. You're only thinking about the people. The streets are not only about the people, even though that's a majority of my photos, that's a majority of a lot of people's photos. It's always not about just people. It's about the people interacting with the world around them. So definitely, Take an hour to slow down and just observe before you shoot. So the next tip is if you find a good area, stay there. Don't leave. There may be moments when it slows down and there's not a lot of people coming, you know, back and forth, crossing streets and whatnot. They may be in stores, they may come out, they may be on a bus, there may be just times where there's an influx of people. Um, Slow down, it's a good area. If you're finding yourself, man, I just shot off five different photos in this area, don't leave it because more may be happening. Take that time to see what else is happening around you and take absolute advantage of it. I don't fall for it, I'm pretty 
are going. God, I got that. I already won. Now I'm just making a statement. Yeah, baby, why your mans keep hating? You asking about the cake? You here for the celebrations? All right. So the next tip is always be working on multiple projects. Um, this is something that I had to be reminded of myself very listen very recently listening to a clubhouse chat um don't kind of hone in and just be like i'm going out i'm working one corner i'm doing one thing and just i'm, I'm shooting this one subject and you kind of just super you know zone folks yourself into i'm only doing this one thing you do that you lose out on absolutely everything else happening around you here in Colorado, specifically on 16th Street Mall, which happens to only be the busiest street in state, which is freaking annoying. Um, there's these buses that, these RTD buses that come up and down the street constantly. I don't know, I was about to like <laughs> bust into a wrap. There's these RTD buses that come up and down the street constantly. And I was doing a series a while back where I was just shooting those buses and shooting the people in the buses as they, you know, got on and off as they're kind of standing there. And I had a lot of photos that I really liked and I stopped that project, which I believe I did a video on um, a while back. But recently just thinking about it and coming back to that series, I'm like, man, I have a lot of photos I've taken since then that I can kind of just reference and, you know, motivate me to jump back into that project. I can implement these photos into that project. I can expand up on it. So, Definitely have multiple projects in mind. Don't just get honed into one thing because there's so many different things happening around you that you don't even know. Take that time to look back on your photos and kind of just culminate, you know, put together similar photos that um, kind of just work together, tell a little story. And next thing you know, you got a couple photo projects on your hand. We need that water break. Bruh, I just made that seem like the tastiest water on the planet. <laughs> it was. All right, so another tip is to stay with the scene. There's a lot that could be happening around you, but you'll reach moments where you just see something happening or something unfolding. When shooting, a lot of people like to just walk and you know, you got a subject walking to you, you snap the picture, you see them doing something interesting. You know, go take one or two like quick clicks and then you kind of move on. I would recommend just kind of staying and studying it. Like just understand what's happening. Like just watch it unfold in front of you simply just for the enjoyment of watching something unfold. Um, but then it, it just gives you time. You may have a, a better photo opportunity coming up. Stay with the scene. Um, there was another moment I had just a few weeks ago where this dude was kind of walking around the streets like a, um, what's the bird a flamingo he was walking around like a flamingo which was really weird i didn't know what he was doing but i just kind of watched him just you know do his thing for a moment and then i decided to start shooting him and he looked at me he noticed me and everything and i didn't let that kill the moment i just stayed with it i encouraged him to keep being himself being weird on these streets because <laughs> i've seen plenty of that and it was rewarding to me because i got a few photos that i really liked i kind of just chased him down the street Again, this is just being with the subject, making them comfortable around you. Let them know you're not doing any harm to them and just continue to shot, shoot them. And on that same note, be patient and set limits for yourself. Don't just turn that camera on continuous shutter and just, you know, and hope to get the best photo because <laughs> you're not like, you're not even thinking at that point. You're just, you're spraying and you're not even praying. You're just, you're just spraying and not even thinking. That's, that's exactly what's happening. But chill out like just be patient things are going to be slow when you're starting off things may not pick up for an hour or so oh, just be open-minded and aware this is that the whole purpose of taking an hour you know before to just observe everything around you you yeah. may be like you know what nothing's happening where i'm at let me go check out a different spot that i found down the way that i think you know something interesting may be happening um things may unfold at a later time and 
you know, definitely just lean into the world around you. Lean into just your observations, your instinct, and uh, don't just endlessly be out there shooting photos. You'll be surprised at how much you value your shots when you take time to take a minute and step away. So that's all I have to kind of share with you guys today in terms of my approach, my process when it comes to street photography and working corners. I really hope you guys took some value away from this. And if you just have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I love discussing with you guys, talking, chatting with you guys. Um, thank you all for, thank you for all. Hold on, I'm like buffering right now. Okay, thank you to all of you who have reached out to me on Instagram and, you know, just kind of ask questions, share your thoughts, your opinions, your thanks and whatnot. Uh, I really appreciate that stuff and it like just motivates the ever-living crap out of me. Thank you for being a human, you know, and just being interested in talking to other human beings. This is really cool. Um, so yeah, please subscribe because I have more content coming your way in terms of my process. Really excited to dive deep into this with you guys. Peace and uh, hit them streets. Sign.